Welcome to our lecture online. Our next special case is actually very similar to the previous one, even though it has a different format. And depending upon how you work this out, you end up with the exact same result as before, or something a little bit different, but with the same ultimate solution. So let's say here we start out by saying we're going to move all the terms that have an x to one side of the equation. When we do that, we take the plus 5x and move it over here and make it into a negative 5x. So this becomes 5x minus 5x plus 3 over 2 equals 3 over 2. And then when we combine like terms, 5x minus 5x equals 0, and we end up with 3 over 2 equals 3 over 2. Now, is that a true statement? That is a true statement. Doesn't matter what value x has, it really doesn't make any difference of the value for x. That will always be the case. So therefore, x can be 0, it can be 10, it can be minus 5, it can be any real number. So x becomes an element of the reals. The same result as we had in the previous video with a different looking problem. Now, another thing we could have done was we could have also moved the 3 over 2 to the right side because as we move all the terms of x to one side, we can move all the numbers to the other side. So we could have also worked it out as follows. We end up with 5x minus 5x on the left side equals 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 when we move the other 3 over 2 to the right. And so this becomes 0 on the left side equals 0 on the right side. So just like with the problem in the previous video, 0 equals 0, that is a true statement, and again, it doesn't matter what values x has. So depending upon how you work it out, you'll end up with something that looks like this, or you'll end up with something like this. And there's another way in which this problem could be solved. For example, starting with this case right here, we could move the 3 halves on one side to the other side. So let's go over here and say it could be solved as follows. We have 5x equals we move the plus 3 halves to the other side, it becomes minus 3 halves, so we have 3 halves minus 3 halves plus 5x by moving the 3 halves on the left side to the right side first, leaving the terms with the x in place. When we do that, the following results, this goes equal to 0, and we end up with 5x equals 5x, and dividing both sides by 5, we end up with x equals x. Again, just like we saw in the previous video, when x equals x, it doesn't really matter what the value x has. x can be any value, and it will always be equal to itself. So therefore, we can also conclude that x is an element of the reals. So it doesn't matter in which way you approach this problem, x will always be an element of the reals in any solution that you come up with in this particular case. And that's why we call it special case number four.